Hello and welcome back to another video here at Pragmatic Works. In this video, we're going to take a look at the until activity and working with variables inside of Synapse Analytics. And we're going to set up our pipeline to wait until some kind of evaluation evaluates to true. So if you'll just hold on one second, we'll jump right in. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to create a new pipeline and in that pipeline we're going to set up a variable. Now in my previous video in this series I talked about parameters. Parameters and variables are very similar. In fact if you've worked with parameters or variables in any other platform, software, language, you're probably going to already have a pretty good understanding of the difference between the two. Parameters like we used in our last video, allow you to kind of pass in a value from outside the, the object, right? So if we're, we're calling a data set, every time that data set gets called, I want to be able to pass a value in from the outside, pass in a value from the pipeline, right? So those parameters allow us to do some kind of configuration and administration of our pipelines, making them more reusable. Variables, on the other hand, very similar. They're a placeholder, but they're really more for looping, right? So like some kind of value that's not necessarily being passed into a data set or something else, but a value that's inside of my pipeline that I want to be able to change during execution. So let's take a look at this real quick. The first thing that I want to do is create a new pipeline. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll call this over here. I'll just give it a name of until activity. something very simple and I'll close the properties pane out and then what am I going to do well down here in the bottom what I'm going to do is I am going to go to the variable section and so on the pipeline itself we're going to add a variable and I am going to give the variable a type of boolean meaning true or false and I'm going to give it a name of file exists so let me tell you the scenario that I'm going to use for this example. And you can use variables and until activity for tons of different things. But something that I've had to do a lot, especially when I was doing consulting um, and building out BI solutions, was I'd have to wait until a file arrived before I could process the file, right? So what I can do here is I can set up a file exist variable that will... Um, essentially, when it evaluates to true, meaning the file exists, then I can complete my pipeline. I can do other stuff. So we're going to have to set up a couple things to make this work, as you can imagine, but I'll show you what we're going to do. So let's give this a default value of false. All right. And we're going to create a little bit of a watcher here. So that's going to be my variable. Now, the first thing that I need to add to this is going to be the until activity. And that's going to be under the iteration and conditionals category, which we were just there in our last couple of videos with the for each activity. And I'm going to bring the until activity into our pipeline. Now, the, the really the only thing you have to set up on this is an expression that evaluates to true or false, a Boolean expression. So I'll go over to settings and right here, I'm going to add dynamic content and I'm going to pass in our variable that we just created called file exist and click OK. So remember, file exist is a Boolean. It, it already is going to evaluate to false or true. Now, if it evaluates to false, which we gave it a default value of false, then the until activity will run. That's why I gave it a default value of false, because I need it to run. Once the until activity runs, we're going to have a get metadata activity that goes to our data lake, looks to see if the file exists. If it does exist, it's going to return that property, and we're going to update our variable. So inside of the until activity, we're going to have two activities. The first one is going to be a get metadata activity that goes and looks for the file. If the file exists, it'll return true. If it does not, it will return false. And we're going to use the output of that get metadata activity to update our variable. Then we'll probably add like a wait activity. So there's a little bit of a delay. Then the uh, delay, um, after it delays, it'll go back to the beginning and it will check to see if the variable equals true or false. If it does not equal true, then the until activity will run again and it'll check to see if the file exists, update the variable, wait for a specified amount of time, and then it will repeat that process until the file exists in that data lake location. Now, of course, use your imagination here on how we can build this out, right? 
to have some kind of conditional logic that if it takes X number or N number of turns, then we do something else like dynamically send an email to somebody and say, hey, you forgot to upload the file today, right? So let's go ahead and set this up. I'm gonna click on the little pencil. Of course, with the newer design interface, we could click right here as well. But I'm gonna click the pencil to go into the until activity. And the first thing that I wanna do is use the get metadata activity. Under settings, I am going to use our dynamic data set that we used previously in this class. And for the file name, I'm going to give it a file name of holiday.csv, holiday.csv. Now, if you remember from the previous video, this dynamic data set is actually pointing to my internet cells location. Um, it's not pointing to, so there's no holiday CSV file. That file does not exist. In fact, just to show you, if I open the data set real quick, you'll see that it's pointing to the training folder um, container and it's pointing to the internet sales folder. And if we go and we look under the data hub and I go into training and I go to internet sales, there is no holiday.csv file. So that means that the until loop is going to loop until I upload a file to that location. All right, with that being said, We've got the uh, environment, everything is set, ready to go. I'm gonna go back to the until activity. Now, what I wanted to do is look at the file. I'm kind of hard coding the value and then we're gonna tell it to check to see if the file exists, right? So I'll click new for filled list and then we'll do exist. So we've done a lot of different things with the, the metadata activity. We've checked last modified, we've returned item name, we've returned a list of items. In this video, we're taking a look at, hey, Check the property of that file and see if it exists. So we're gonna do that. Now the next step is we need to update the variable because the variable is defaulted to false. So if the file does exist and the output of this property is true, I need the variable to be true so the until loop stops and it moves on to the next series of steps, right? So we are going to go back over to general and we're gonna tell it that we want to set our variable, right? We're gonna set the variable. So I'll connect these two together using the precedent constraint go into the variable activity, and then I'm going to choose my variable from the dropdown. It automatically recognizes the variable. And then it says, okay, well, what value do you want to assign to this variable? Well, the ver hopefully you know the answer to this, right? The value that I want to assign is right here. It is the exist property, which is the output from the get metadata activity, right? The get metadata activity is going to go look at the file. It's going to return that exist property, which tells you true or false. Does the file exist? And we're going to take the result of that true or false, and we're going to write that to our variable. So I'll go ahead and select that. And then you can, oh, you can see it. I'm going to click OK right here. All right. So we're going to update that variable. So this is the system. The until loop is going to run. It's going to check the variable. The variable has a default value of false. So it's going to run. It's going to then run the get metadata activity, check for holiday CSV. It does not exist, so it's gonna return a value of false, and it's gonna update the variable to false, which it's already false, right? But it's gonna update it again. Um, and then when it does evaluate to true, that will stop the until loop, and then hypothetically, it would move on. We would copy the data, we'd archive the data, we would do all those other things, send an email saying that it has completed. So the last thing I wanna do though, and so this just doesn't run every millisecond, is I'm gonna add a very basic wait activity here and tell it, hey, let's just go ahead and wait for three seconds. So check the file, set the variable, let's wait for three seconds, then let's check again. All right, you ready for this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna go ahead and say debug. We're gonna debug it, we're gonna let it run, we're gonna see what happens. Um, we'll take a look at it in the output window here a couple of times and just see what those results look like. Oh, it already ran the get metadata activity. What was the, uh, let's hit a refresh here. So the get metadata ran, what was the output? Does the file exist? No, it does not, the file does not exist. So what I would expect is that it's gonna set the variable, let's see what the input is. The input to that variable was the um, value, which is false, so it's gonna keep it as false. So this is going to keep running and it's gonna run and run. It's a watcher, it keeps looking to see, does that file exist? Now we're gonna make it end, right? I'm letting it kind of run a few times so you see it. It's going through this process. Get metadata, check if file exists. It does not, update the variable, wait three seconds. The, the until loop says, hey, does it exist? No, it doesn't. And it does it again, and it does it again. So this is gonna keep running. 
However, if I go back over here and I upload the file that we're waiting for, we're waiting for that file. If I come over here and I upload that file, holiday.csv, and I click open, and then I upload, what I should expect is our watcher program is going to look into that folder. It's going to see that it now exists. If we flip back over here, and it is going to end that process. So remember, we got a little bit of a three second delay. Let's give it just a second. It is done. Look at the until activity. It says, hey, we're done. It turned it off. If you can see that at the bottom, I'm blocking it. Let's see if, how do I have to rotate here? There it is, see, succeeded. All right, so what do we wanna do? Let's verify this. So if you go down and you look at like this get metadata right here and you look at the output right here, it was false. Right, it didn't, but then I uploaded the file. So if you come to the last get metadata activity that's in our list, the last one that ran, and I click on that output again, it's true. The file does exist, right? So then we take the value of that property. We set our variable. You can look at the input. The input that we're about to write to the variable is true. So the variable is now equal to true. We wait for three seconds. Then the until activity says, hey, is the variable equal to true? Yes, it is. And it stops the activity, the activity complete successfully. Now, we obviously are not building out the fully fleshed end-to-end -end example, but what I would do from this point on, just to kind of give you the visualization, is now I would say, hey, the file exists, so now I can process the file. So once that completes successfully, we can process the file and all is good. All right, again, just kind of charging through all the different activities here inside of Synapse Analytics. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're getting a lot out of this series. If you did, make sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video.